How's it going, E Tribe? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Eve Vlog coming to you live and welcome on this movie. Now, I know you guys have seen me react to animation movies. Now, this time I want to try something a little different reacting to a real life movie. Now, the name of this movie is called The Old Ways, The Old Generation Ways of Doing Things. The old generation way of handling business. So without further ado, let's check out the movie and see what took place. This is going to be a scary movie. This is definitely going to be. It looks like they are doing some type of exorcism. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. They're performing some type of exorcism on her mother and it seems like whatever they were doing, the enchantment triggered the demonic being that resides inside her. Now I'm a big fan of scary movies. A very big fan of scary movies when I was much much younger when I watch scary movies I won't be able to sleep at night but now that must be her it seems like Christina Lopez Oh, it's not her, it's it's somebody else. Hmm. This old lady is looking at her dead in the eyes.
She has what? She has what? And I think we are in for a ride on this movie. Just the name it's the name itself. The old ways, man. You know. But I wonder how she wandered up inside this cave and running into that, uh, into those villagers. And it looks like those people are the type of people that just want to be left alone. You know, they don't want to be bothered. And they don't like foreigners too much. There's a person she's looking for, Miranda Flores? Curiosity kills the cat. And she went there anyways. So she brought this upon herself. Oh yeah, I was wondering what they were, what they forced inside. Oh, they found something inside her. It looks like that La Boca that they keep talking about, it must be a forbidden place. A forbidden forest that everyone has been told not to go to or not to walk around that area because they know that an evil forest they will never trust her again at this point from here on out but what is their game plan dude what now 
The exorcism has begun. It looks like this is even worse than it, it, it looks like this is too. It seems like this situation is worse than the first woman that they tried to ex. That's not a good laugh. That's not a good laugh. Hmm? Tied up like that? What does she have to do alone? Trust me, when it comes, I don't think she will have words to say all, all the crap she's saying right now. She thinks this is a joke, huh? I don't like snakes. No. He looks like a black mamba. One of the most poisonous snakes out there. Another one. They are now biting her.
She's actually... What is she took out? What is that? This is not good. This is not good. She wants to go deeper inside her stomach? Oh God. Oh goodness. Is that a snake? Whatever it is doesn't want to come out. Whatever it is doesn't want to come out. It looks like a snake. Whoa, she's lashing out more than usual. The drugs that she's doing is not helping the situation. I don't think it's helping her situation. And how come the old geezer did not try hard? Like, is there any other way to remove whatever is inside her? Oh, <laughs> her mouth 
I was like, what in the blue moon is doing that? They now allowed her to uh, move around the place a little bit more. She's cleaning. There is now some type of understanding between her and them. I guess she's really, really looking forward. She's really cleaning herself up.
Whoa. She finds herself in that cave again. That little boy. We've seen a lot of that little boy around, right? And I'm not sure if she's the only one who can see him. Because remember when the, there was a time when she looked out the window and she saw that little boy looking back at her. It looks like she's the only one who can They can't get out. I thought she was trapped when they nailed her and stuff.
what's going on with the old lady. Did it work? Because she should have tried doing that with the salt and the and the enchantment burial first. Then if she can extend her arm further, then that means... Oh, the old lady died. That doesn't look good.
Oh boy. Oh boy. She did not. She got at anyone inside her. It wasn't destroyed. You remember the thin fuse feeds the thin feeds pain. What was that? Hmm, it looks like the old lady spirit is still around. It looks like she's trying to show her something. This is going to be very, very interesting. Mm hmm. She should do the other hand as well. Wham! <laughs> Bones are snapping. Do the legs.
Those nails are out. Whoa. What is that? It's a oh, it It looks like that it looks like that whistle hurts it. Are you sure do you, are you sure you want to open the door? What is she going to do? She's gonna, she gonna try to fight it? Fui! Mm. Wow. I guess due to old age, um, the old geezer, the old woman, did, did, she didn't have the strength to destroy it. But with Christina being young and everything, age was on her side, you know? Now what?
Hmm, there is something there. There is something there. Get her even with what? There is something there. There is something there. <laughs> all right folks there you have it what an interesting movie what an interesting movie from the beginning of this movie to the end and no way you will start this movie and you will phase out right the scene the ominous music uh the dialogue it keeps you hooked right it keeps you hooked in what is happening and you want to see what's going to end up becoming of christina and she deliberately came here because of what she's done in the past because of what she's been doing with her life i guess she is no longer happy with the way things are going with her life and uh she was told not to go there but she went there anyway deliberately deliberately to Pretty much to inadvertently end her existence but in doing so she ran into something that she shouldn't have run herself into right in doing so she ran into a being that feeds in fear and she was possessed right and coming to this place uh, she realized that uh, she engaged herself in something that she cannot be able to fathom as soon as the old geezer walked in and sees her and use her spiritual eyesight right her psyche like her um how do i put it the third eye if i would say but her spiritual eyes to look at her she saw something in her right away and from then on she they didn't want her to leave and even when she was told that there is something inside her there is something something has possessed her an evil spirit has possessed her and uh, is feeding in her fear she did not believe it at first she thought it was a joke until as time progresses the thing starts to mature inside her weird things start to happen ominous or weird situations that happen to her she will be in a room and the candlelight will go off you know she starts to understand that she is uh, in a situation that she does not know what to do or how to fix it at first she wanted to get out because she always wanted to leave the place and if those guys had let her get out of that place without dealing with that problem it would have been worse she would have been a total uh, menacing individual to deal with she would have done some things because that spirit inside her would have made her do crazy stuff like she would be a menacing uh, 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 a menacing possessed uh, being right if they had allowed her to go out there and meet or go in like go out there and engage yourself inside other communities or even go to los angeles she would have made things worse in los angeles 
and not only that the thing would have possessed and tortured her so much that it will the thing can also possess other people right so once they try to uh deal with the situation and as they deal with it she starts to experience weird things even things that she didn't know was inside her she didn't know how that thing got inside her in the first place and then she starts to believe it and the more she starts to believe it she starts to realize okay i'm in a situation that uh i have to find a way to deal with it before getting out of here right and then she decided to stay behind and fix the situation uh the old geezer the old lady really really like her character in this movie she really did a great job like just they they just have the face paint do all the work talk less have the face paint do the job like the old the, the old lady really really did a good job with the way she presents herself the way she expressed herself her persona you know she did a very good job and she almost defeated this evil spirit but it's just that age wasn't her wasn't on her side you know what i mean age was not on her side but she came very close she did manage to drive it out okay she managed to drive it out but once the spirit got out he sensed a weaker person in the room and went inside the little uh, the other girl because the other girl her mother i believe in the beginning that was her mother uh going through exorcism situation and i i guess based on how things turned out it didn't go too well her mother probably died because of that because the evil spirit feeds in fear right it devours fear and that evil spirit probably tortured her mother so much that her mother could no longer continue to live she died in the process but before that happened that was uh, her mother grabbed her arm and when the thing came out it scratched her and because of that scratch i believe the evil spirit made a mark on her so when he when the old lady the old geezer uh was going to crush the heart but she didn't have the strength because of her age the thing managed to get out and went inside the other lady and once and then her and uh, christina were having a conversation and christina still wanted to go back but she wasn't sure and she got a phone call and because of half of that phone call uh she left the girl that she was having a conversation with and the girl was actually expressing herself to her right trying to express her emotions to her that she would like her to stay behind because they've been friends from childhood really and because she had uh, because christina had to answer that phone call she left and when she left to answer the phone call the girl starts she got angry right she got angry she got frustrated and that's when that uh, evil spirit starts to manifest in her and she noticed it right away and they tried to ex even when during the time when christina wasn't sure what to do with her right she she wasn't sure what to do the spirit of the old lady came to her and showed her what to do right so the the old lady figured out that christina even though she may look weak but she is strong she is a strong-minded person and in order to do this you have to be strong you know your will has to be uh, 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 unshaken right the old lady showed her what to do gave her her tools of work right presented it to her and christina used it and used it effectively and as you can see during the time at the moment of truth what the old geezer old lady couldn't do when she grabbed the heart actually you know what though i got to say that uh, in the end towards the end when the thing finally showed itself and appeared uh christina and the girl were going to leave but christina figured out that if they leave this thing will definitely find them that they will never they will have no peace until they deal with this thing she decided to go back and the thing 
came close to her and she gorged and she dry, drove her fist inside the thing's chest and ripped out the heart right and good thing that the other lady was kind of you know she was able to understand the situation and understand what is going on and use the knife to stab the heart so i guess the heart of the evil spirit needed to be destroyed in order for it to to be destroyed permanently you know but during the time when christina drove her hands inside the heart of the spirit you can see age was on her side so she managed to drive the thing out because the thing was inside the lady right i got to say the, the beginning from the beginning till the end it was a good movie and uh the name of this movie deemed it worthy the old ways you know the old ways of doing things because i guess the new ways would be um if you are a religious person you can i'm sure most of you guys have seen a lot of uh exorcism movies uh you know the exorcism you know, i can go on and on so uh, you know praying to god uh, praying to the creator and trying to drive the evil spirit out but this is the old ways of doing it right <sighs> all right folks uh, i'm going to digress it here and thank you guys so much for joining me uh watching this movie and i guess christina has taken the mantle uh when she realized and recognized what she's capable of and when she realized and recognized that uh, she is needed where she is, she accepted it. She accepted and she welcomed it, right? And as you can see, her friend that <laughs> she told her friend not to come seeking for her, that she will meet up with him, but the friend didn't listen. And now the friend has been possessed. And now Christina is going to have to deal with it. And I guess she will probably do a good job because age is on her side. And based on the fact that she has experienced the situation herself, it will give her the courage that she needs uh, to do what she needs to do. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>